the Paul Ewer United States Army Gold Knights Parachute Team along for us today. They're going to climb up a couple thousand feet right now, circle overhead for some streamers out of the side of the airplane. If they land in the crowd, again, do not water past the fence. If they land in a crowd, you're welcome to keep them. Yeah. What the streamers are for, the guys are going to be looking at the side of that airplane, watching where those streamers are going to up the window. Russell Davis, it's all yours, sir. Thank you. Good morning. Welcome to a beautiful day at the 2011 Wheels and Wings Air Show here at Millville Airport. I'm Russell Davis, uh, the chairman of the board, and it's my job to welcome you. So thank you so much for coming and for the people at the gate pouring in. Thank you so much for uh, attending today. It's our tradition to begin our major events and all we do with invocation. And we've asked Pastor Garrett Canyon to lead us in that invocation. Pastor. Shall we bow our heads and hearts in prayer this day? Lord, we say thank you for such a beautiful day. I know that we ourselves had nothing to do with the day, but we sure enjoy it. We thank you this day as we're sharing here. Even before we ask your blessing upon it, we would remember those that are serving us beyond our shores today. Those who are in the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, the Coast Guard, those who are in various areas of, yes, our protection, Lord, be with them. And as we're here to celebrate on this Memorial Day weekend, to watch the beautiful presentation of pilots, jumpers, and others who are making today possible, we're very grateful that we can come and be together Enjoy the beautiful freedom that is ours to be able to talk, to share, to do it without afraid of harm around us. But as we're here today, now we bless, ask your protection, your blessing. Some of these fellows are very about oh, one look at seven minutes now, looks like away from her jumpers away. <laughs> your United States Army Golden Knights parachute team.
Live on Bay Sun this afternoon. By Kim Walsong, right here from Vineland, New Jersey. Kim. Separation to allow for individual approaches into the target area. 
This is accomplished by pulling on the front part of the parachute and spiraling down at speeds of up to 60 miles per hour to set up a traffic pattern much like you would see aircraft at a busy airport. As the first jumper moves in, showing you the full flight characteristics of his Ram Air Parachute, give a warm welcome to Staff Sergeant Trevor Oppenborn. If you have any questions about the many opportunities available for you today in America's largest corporation, the United States Army, feel free to contact your local Army recruiter or come help us pack our parachutes at show right. You can also discover the United States Army and the Golden Knights on the World Wide Web at GoArmy.com or ArmyGK.com. At 2,000 feet, underneath the black and gold canopies of the United States Army Parachute Team, these jumpers can hear you very well. Give them a shout. Let them know who you are. Yay! Looking at show center, it would appear that two canopies have become entangled, but this is not the case. These jumpers are actually performing a facet of the sport called canopy relative work. With the advanced aerodynamic design of these ram air parachutes, it is possible to fly one parachute right into the hands of another jumper without adversely affecting its flight characteristics. Unlike first all, these two jumpers can carry on a conversation just like you and I standing here on the ground. As the two stack enters the target area, listen for the command to break as they near the ground. You may notice the tail of the parachute curl under. This slows the jumper's forward speed. And there you have not one, but two Golden Knight landings. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the first performance of today. And on behalf of the entire team, I would like to thank each and every one of you for being such a warm, interceptive airborne audience. In closing, I leave you with this final thought. In the future, may all your days be prosperous and your nights golden.